In the medieval period, Galen's work was considered to be better than the work of anyone alive. However, during the Renaissance, scholars began to ask questions, to think scientifically, to experiment, and to use these ideas to develop medicine. Andreas Vesalius was professor of anatomy at the University of Padua in the mid-16th century. At first, he used Galen's work and followed it closely, but he came to realize that Galen had actually made mistakes. To criticize Galen was professionally dangerous. At first, Vesalius kept his ideas to himself. Unlike Galen, Vesalius was able to carry out many dissections. In 1543, Vesalius published his masterpiece, The Fabrica, a complete map of the human body. The book was printed and read widely. William Harvey also studied medicine at the University of Padua about 50 years after Vesalius. He used scientific methods, carrying out many of his own experiments, and discovered that Galen was wrong about how blood moves around the body. Harvey came up with the completely new discovery of the circulation of the blood. In Harvey's most famous experiment, he proved that blood only traveled round the body in one direction. He showed that if you put your finger above a valve in the vein of the arm, and then flattened the vein up to the next valve, the vein cannot fill up again until you take your finger away. Blood can only flow in one direction through the veins. The work of scholars such as Vesalius and Harvey had little effect at first. Most medicine was based on herbs and magic until the 19th century. But most of today's medicine is based on their ways of working. They helped to start a scientific revolution.